The Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water is a leading global scientific award focusing on cutting edge innovation in water research. The prize gives recognition to scientists, researchers, and inventors around the world for pioneering work that addresses the problem of water in creative and effective ways. The prize was established in 2002 by His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz, who realized that scientific innovation was needed if we are to prevent a global water crisis. This vision is shared by his son and PSIPW president, His Royal Highness Prince Khaled bin Sultan bin Abdulaziz. It is going to take effective management, international commitment, and political strength to avert the impending water crisis. Even this will not be enough without the committed efforts of scientists and researchers to provide the innovative solutions and technology that we need. In order to award innovation in every aspect of water science, the Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water offers a suite of five prizes covering the entire water research landscape. These are bestowed every two years at an award ceremony held in cooperation with the United Nations at the various United Nations headquarters. The ceremony for the 10th award was at the United Nations office at Vienna in Austria. The ceremony took place under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques. King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. For its 10th award, more than 300 nominations were received from scientists and researchers from 66 countries. The Interdisciplinary Creativity Prize was awarded to Professor Talapil Pradeep and his team at the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. His team developed environmentally friendly water-positive nanoscale materials for the affordable, sustainable, and rapid removal of arsenic from drinking water. In my country, uh, a lot of people are affected with arsenic. And what is important was to have an affordable, sustainable solution that can be implemented in the field so that everyone can use it. Today, we have reached about 1.3 million people Every day we supply arsenic-free water. Technology or what you invent should be for people. Society, it has to be implemented, it has to reach people. And that recognition or that realization is a central point of uh, this prize. The Creativity Prize was also awarded to the team of Professor Dionosios Dionosio of the University of Cincinnati. His team developed advanced oxidation technologies and nanotechnologies for environmental applications, particularly in the removal and monitoring of emerging contaminants. Our work uh, focuses on the development of technologies for the treatment of legacy as well as contaminants of emerging concern. And this is very important, not only for developing countries, but as well as uh, industrialized countries, because we discover the presence of new pollutants uh, uh, in uh, recent years. And this relates also to the development of more advances in analytical chemistry. So some of these pollutants are very significant and they have a significant impact with respect to water quality. And this relates to pharmaceuticals, uh, personal care products, uh, perfluorinated chemicals, pesticides, herbicides. So this prize will motivate new generation of researchers to develop new types of solutions to cost-effectively treat the water to be able to provide clean water to uh, people around the world. The Surface Water Prize was awarded to Professor Dennis Baldocci of the University of California, Berkeley, for developing effective models to understand, evaluate, and predict evapotranspiration and water use efficiency in various environments under climate change conditions. Uh, we're learning how to take the physical environment and the plant environment and look at them together. And I think it gives us a different view on how uh, surface water uh, is exchanged. 
The Groundwater Prize was awarded to Professor Linda Abriola of Brown University for her pioneering research on toxic dense non-aqueous phase liquids, DNAPLs in groundwater, ranging from the simulation of their fate to effective methods for cleaning contaminated sites. This is one of the largest prizes in the groundwater field, and so it's ex extremely significant to all of us who, who have won it. And um, it's an international prize, which makes it even more valuable. And um, it really highlights the importance of the science and the engineering associated with water. So it, it, it brings that into the fore, and that's I think, is, is so valuable. The Alternative Water Resources Prize was awarded to the team of Professor Menahem Elimelech of Yale University and Professor Chinadum Osuji of the University of Pennsylvania for advances in nanostructured materials for next-generation membranes and water purification technologies, with a particular focus on implementation issues like manufacturing, sustainability, self-assembled materials, and biofouling. They have advanced our knowledge on a diverse range of issues, from carbon nanotubes and graphene oxide, to plant-derived feedstocks, from the use of magnetic fields, to engineering of crystallite size, and from pressure-retarded osmosis, to membrane distillation and nanofiltration. Uh, we all know about global water scarcity, and we know that we can get water from the hydrological cycle, from rain, river, lakes, but it's not enough. So we need now to find some way to get water from other alternative resources like seawater desalination or wastewater reuse. And this is the research that I'm doing. I mean, I'm working on some technologies to convert seawater to fresh drinking water or to transform domestic wastewater to potable uh, water. I think as scientists and especially as academic scientists, we oftentimes have our heads down, our eyes, our focus is very narrow, thinking about the science and the technology that we're developing. Uh, the, PS, uh, the PSIPW um, award forces you to take your eye off of the minutia uh, for long enough to recognize that, of course, there is this much broader world out there. There are problems of significance, in fact, that we are working on. And it allows you to be inspired or to be re-inspired the Water Management and Protection Prize was awarded to Professor Matthew McCabe and his team at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia for employing CubeSat constellations in the sustainable management and security of linked water food systems. Even though our work is focused in these dry land systems, the problems that we address have relevance to the international community and many regions around the world. So this award provides a recognition that the work that we're doing is not only regionally important but can be translated to other regions and other institutions and agencies and partner organisations uh, in, in some of these other dry land systems uh, around the world.